welcome to this week's episode of Money Moves with Debt Rescue. This week we decided to talk about something completely different and that is about balloon payments or residual balances on our vehicle finance. It's one of those things that many consumers consider as an option when they're applying for their vehicle finance at the inception phase of obtaining a new vehicle. And Oftentimes it's something we don't completely understand or something that when the time runs out on our contractual agreements, we're not entirely sure how we're necessarily going to fund that. So I thought today it would be a good idea to discuss balloon payments when they're applicable and how they work in real life. When considering whether a balloon payment should be part of your credit application when you originally purchase your vehicle, there's a few things that need to be noted, whether it is a wise decision at inception to do so. A balloon payment is usually implemented with the main purpose of reducing the instalment in the long term, but understanding that at the end of your term, a percentage, whichever the percentage is, of your finance is going to be due and payable at that point. A wise idea is if you are considering this, that you look at the value of your car and specifically what kind of value your vehicle will retain towards the end of its finance period. Generally, we see this applied to more luxury vehicles or vehicles that are known for brands outlasting their normal expected lifespan of a brand or vehicle, etc. So, like I say, the main reason for people applying this would be, for example, if I say I want a 20% residual value, that I'm going to at least have that amount of value left in the vehicle by the time that it's paid off because I could potentially sell the vehicle to retain or repay that specific amount that I'm owing at that point. It's important to know when to look at balloon payment as part of your finance option. If the pure reason is just to reduce the installment, then it's important to know what the value of your car is. So you need to do some research because reducing your monthly repayment with the intention of affording a much more expensive car than your budget would normally allow, then you truly have to know that the vehicle is still going to be worth this at the end of the repayment term that you've, you've entered into. So what does a balloon payment look like in real life? Well, at the hand of an example, if I, for example, buy a vehicle that costs 200,000 Rand and I decide to put 20% of the value on residual, what that would mean is 20% of the value, which would then be 40,000 Rand, would not be liable and calculated into my monthly installment. So the amount that I finance on which my installment is calculated every month is then 160,000 Rand. So it does have short-term benefit and obviously it does help with regards to keeping the installments lower and obviously it helps with my budget every month to make sure I can afford something possibly a little bit higher than my budget would normally allow and still fits into my pocket. So based on all of this, obviously we're not trying to say that balloon payments are always bad because it's not always a case where every consumer has the intention of owning his vehicle at the end of his repayment term. A lot of times, depending on the kind of job you do, you might only want to own the vehicle or pay for the vehicle and keep it for a period of maybe four or five years. And after that, your intention is to move on to a new vehicle. Uh, you might have a vehicle allowance as part of your, of your salary package, etc., where you need to purchase a vehicle after every period, but owning it is not necessarily part of your deal. So all in all, after all of what I've just said, it's understanding what does a balloon payment mean to your finance and understanding that at the end of your repayment term, you will still owe that amount that you decided to place on the residual repayment at the end of your term. And in terms of most of these agreements that you would need to be able to pay that amount at that point. In some circumstances, they might allow you if the vehicle still has value at that point that you refinance that balance for an additional period or alternatively that you will need to find the funds to pay it at that point or perhaps even look at selling the vehicle and then settling that outstanding balance at that point. That's it for this week's episode of Money Moves with Debt Rescue. We hope you found that informative. Please remember to like and subscribe to our channel and please comment below if there's any topics you'd like us to cover.